Excuse us, always okay, yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> question. Uh, Hollywood seems to be so celebrating itself so often. Being from Denmark, when you made this movie, when you started to make this movie, did you have any idea that you would have a chance to break in and even get an Oscar, or did you think this would be so far out of reach? I think when you are making a film, you have to be very faithful to the story you no. are telling. I don't think you can uh, try to uh, think, can this film make, take any prizes in the world? Yeah, it's, it's a wrong way of doing um, art, I think. I think it's, you have to be very, very faithful to, the, 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 and I'm never thinking about that. I'm, 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 I made a film about very poor immigrants coming to a, a new country, and, and uh, I tried to be very, very faithful to that story. Jeannie? This was, a very, this was a very difficult film to make. You had to endure those seasons and endure the dreariness at times. Were, were there ever moments when you had doubts that it was all worth it, that it was going to turn out as you expected? Yes, because every day we, when we saw rushes, I, I find that it, it was, uh, the actors were very good, and Max Poseidon was very good, and the boy was very good, and everybody. It, it fits all together very well, so, so I think it was worth to do it. Yes, uh, what is the uh, selection process in Denmark for the film that is going to represent the country at the, uh, the Academy Awards? Uh, in Denmark and in whole Scandinavia, we have a film institute system, and there are some people sitting in the film institute and select people, uh, f uh, films every year for the uh, Academy. Okay, and over here? Last year, Denmark won the award for best foreign film, and this year we won the award. What's that, what does this mean to Danish film? You think? I hope it can. Uh, I hope it can be uh, very useful to all uh, new Danish uh, fi film people. That it it, it uh, can maybe stimulate film people in Denmark to do uh, better films. Sorry. Are you nervous right now? Yes. In the, in the last row. You could all probably answer this. Is Oscar a big deal all over the world? Do your feet hurt? Yes. <laughs> all over the world, or just in Hollywood? Is it a big deal in Denmark, Oscar? I think so. Everybody, you think so? A big deal in yeah, it's a big deal everywhere. Big deal, big deal everywhere. <laughs> and then the second row. Murphy Brown seems to be a smashing success. Uh, are you? How are you with comedy? I'm sorry, this thing's attacking me. I, do you feel like comedy is all it's cracked up to be? Is this microphone's banging my head? <laughs> well, it was certainly cracked up to be that when we did a movie together. So I, I love doing it. Um, oh yeah. Oh well. You all heard it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So can we go now? <laughs> Lou. TV newswoman, has it changed your opinion of us and what we do? No. Oh, oh. No, it hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, uh, I think we're all fairly familiar with newsrooms and journalists um, one way or another, whether it's from being in front of you or from being with you. or um, So and I think some of you would do your jobs wonderfully, and let's leave it at that. <laughs> Okay. You have, uh, well, we're trying to build our ratings. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Jacqueline, what is up for you? What are you personally involved doing right now? I'm sorry? What are you personally doing right now? Anything coming up? Any movies? Um, I have a movie coming out, a comedy called Scenes from the Class Struggle in Beverly Hills, directed by Paul Bartel, which is a really kind of on-the-edge comedy. Well, it's, it's, it's dangerous material, let's say. I, I play a Beverly Hills, rich Beverly Hills uh, housewife, married to Paul Mazursky, who just died. And um, I'm sort of like the merry widow. I'm out there looking. Okay, over and, here. And there's all kinds of wonderful, funny people like Wally Shawn and uh, Mary Warrenoff and Ed Begley Jr. and Anisha Walker in the film. And it's, it's, it's very quirky, let's say. And Ray, St Ray Sharkey and oh goodness. Okay, last question here. And getting back to Bill Argos, the Sorry, there's a. Sorry. The American version is cut 50 minutes. Does that alter anything with the movie, or is it okay as a 50 minute? I think it's okay. I like also the uh, 15 minute shorter version. What's the difference? 
Does it all say anything with the it'll, message? It'll take you an hour to explain. <laughs> film. Uh, it came this close to getting an X rating, I understand, because of some of the raw language. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm not surprised, though, a little bit. It's sort of got a... Well, it's kind of raw, yes. But you know, eat, eating raw will pull back tells it, which is also very strange humor. Thank you very much, and congratulations to Pella the Congress. Oh, would you exit on the right? Sure. More. <laughs>